Hey guys, so as I mentioned in my video earlier, Rockstar on their Newswire post that teased the nightclubs mentioned that we might not be getting traditional nightclub venues like what we've seen in the game and what I've shown you throughout other locations like Bahama Mamas, Tequila La, The Vault, etc. Places in the game that are actual nightclubs. They almost sort of hinted that our nightclubs were going to be warehouses. They said world-class talent have announced their upcoming residencies in Los Santos and fans will soon be packing out clubs and warehouses across town to lose themselves in sweaty, ecstatic bliss to hear new sets from Solomon, Tale of Us Dixon, and the Black Madonna while dancing through the night and the morning. And I don't know about you guys, but if you take a look at the nightclub trailer itself, it doesn't really look as if it's in a traditional nightclub venue, uh, especially in some of the scenes. Like you can see there, the roofs are very, very high, uh, which indicates it's not like a traditional property. Uh, and some of the shots you can actually see like up in sort of the rafters of the roof itself. Uh, and you can kind of see like metal railings and you can see skylines and sort of uh, almost like sky windows that you can see out of. So to me, this indicates that, yeah, we're likely going to be more so in warehouses than in traditional nightclubs. And because of that, we're going to be taking a look at some of the locations that would make sense today. Okay, so our first location today is in Cypress Flats. It's kind of hard for me to describe where it is, uh, but I'll obviously show it on the screen right now. It's actually a part of this company, and that's one of the things I was looking for here. Uh, this company is called Vitarius Glass Masters. And when I was looking for big warehouses, I was looking for a couple things. Signs that would indicate that it's for sale or available, or big companies. That would typically indicate that we would like be taking over one of their warehouses. Well, this first one, Vitarius, has this nice big building that has a lot of the sort of things we were sort of looking for on the inside. It might have those giant metal rafters. It has those skylights on the outside. It's located in sort of an industrial area. And it's definitely not the sexiest or the most glamorous spot, as you guys can clearly see here. But I don't think that's what Rockstar was going for. They're going for sort of this grungy underground nightclub feel. Now, that just might be one type of club. They did indicate on the Newswire clubs and warehouses, but uh, we've already gone over all the other traditional nightclub locations in the game. If you guys are interested in that, I'll leave a link to a video I've done in the past in the description. But you guys can see as we sort of get the sky view here, lots of windows with like open panes on the side. And uh, it just looks sort of like a nightclub location right there. Uh, another thing I was looking for were areas that we could possibly utilize vehicles like the one Rockstar Tees, the MTL Pounder Custom, which I think is going to be a big truck. So I was also looking for areas that would be, you know, accessible to a big truck. So that's our first location right there in Cypress Flats at this Vitarius Glass Masters building. The second location is also in Cypress Flats. You're going to have to forgive me because there's not really, you know, amazing landmarks for me to describe these buildings by. Uh, but this one is pretty cool too. Now this one is also connected to a company. This one is Grand Banks. I think it's like a steel company. And it's this like abandoned warehouse, as you guys can see right here. It's brick on the outside. It's located right next to the road, right next to a set of train tracks, which I actually think is pretty cool. Once again, it gives us sort of that nightclub interior vibe with the windows and sort of the warehouse style to it. Uh, this one seems to be connected to a whole lot more machinery, though, which is probably one of the few reasons why I would say this is not going to be a spot, even though I think it kind of fits the mold of what Rockstar has shown us. Because it has all that machinery connected to it, it might be a little bit difficult to slap a nightclub in there, but who knows? You never know. Now, another reason why I'm picking these industrial-like locations, if you guys remember from the single player, Rocco Pelosi, who was also a character in GTA 4, he was building a super nightclub. And he was building a super nightclub at a like frosty refrigerator location. So again, very industrial, uh, sort of fit the same vibe. So I think looking at locations like this isn't something that's totally out of the ordinary. Uh, if Rocco Pelosi was going to do it in single player, why can't our characters do it in online as well? So that's why these locations look a little bit strange from the outside, but it's definitely all going to be about the inside when it's all said and done here. Okay, our next location is also in Cypress Flats. Now, this one is parallel to the ammunition store. It's kind of on the street over to the right, as you guys can see right there. 
Now, we're actually gonna be looking at two buildings back to back here. Uh, they're side by side, but I, I think they could both work really well. The first one is this giant warehouse. And again, if we look back at the trailer, it, it did look like it had really tall ceilings. So I am looking for taller warehouses here. This one is from the company Thorns. I'm not sure what they do, but you can see these giant glass windows. Again, some of those panes have been opened just a little bit. There's a garage door on the front, which is kind of cool. There's massive garage doors on the side of the building as well. And on the back, there's like secret little entrances and whatnot. It's located next to some other like car fix them up places. And obviously the ammunition store is right across the street. So I think this is a location that would work really well. I mean, you guys can see just how big this is. And that's something I hadn't even considered from any of my previous videos. If Rockstar is gonna be putting our nightclubs in warehouses, are they gonna be making different sizes like we've seen them do with other business ventures, small, medium, and large? That's something to think about as well. Maybe there's going to be small nightclub warehouses, maybe there's going to be medium, and maybe there's going to be large. And this Thorns location is probably gonna be one of the larger ones. I mean, this thing is absolutely massive. Uh, it's pretty big, let's just say that. So that could be another potential location right there that would work really, really well, the Thorns building. Now, right next door to the Thorns building is another location that I think would work really well. This one is a little bit smaller, but it still has all the things I like, the garage door, the big windows. This one has a for lease sign on there. And interestingly enough, it says lower floor and upper floor together or separate. And there was a number, it was 557-555-0169. And being the curious person I am, I decided to call that number. And unfortunately, I didn't get anyone to pick up, didn't expect to. They said, your business is important to us, but nobody is here to answer the phone. Please call back later. So it seems as if this location is empty and would be perfect for our online characters to obviously take over and incorporate them into nightclubs. Again, another thing I really like about this is it's got great spaces in the back for uh, big trucks. There's like one of the big rig trucks already parked in the back of this building, as you guys can see right here, which again, sort of relating to the MTL Pounder Custom would be perfect for unloading and loading product or cargo or whatever the case is. So that'd be a really cool spot right there. Moving on to our next location, we are also in Cypress Flats. This time we are just above the ammunition store. And uh, this location would work really well too. Again, it's sort of connected to a lot of other industrial players here. This is actually a Pizvazer plant. Again, I was looking for businesses that I think would be notable. Pizvazer plant of the year 2002. So this has been around for a while. You can see just how industrial this area is. Lots of garage door openings, lots of little like ladders to get onto the top of the building itself. Um, so I think this could work really well. Again, the one thing that might deter a uh, location like this from being built is just due to the fact that it's got so much around it, maybe Rockstar would be looking for less congested spaces that have warehouses. But that's another issue I ran into when trying to find these locations is, you know, the warehouses are really only in one spot of the game. They're not in Polito Bay. They're not in Sandy Shore. They're not in the city. They're like in the industrial area near the docks. That's about it. So if we are going to have warehouses, they are going to be scattered sort of close together to each other. Uh, but either way, this is another potential location. It's also next to that Viterius Glass Company as well. So again, another thing to think of right there. Moving on to our next location. This one is actually located in Davis near Grove Street. And you guys might recognize this building. It's the one that Franklin can use in single player for a garage. Now, I don't think this would interfere with single player because Grand Theft Auto's timeline or online's timeline is so wacky and all over the place. Uh, but this would work pretty well. Now, traditionally, again, this was used for sort of like a garage. You can see that massive garage door and the entrance sign right there. But if we go up on the roof, you guys can see lots of massive skylights and stuff like that. So maybe it would work really well as a potential nightclub location. I also was trying to scout some other places that weren't all in Cypress Flats and this was really like the only big warehouse I could find that wasn't in that area. So uh, again, our pickings are a little bit slim, leaving that industrial area, but that one could still work pretty well. And the final two locations that we're gonna be looking at in this video today are in Muerta Heights. So as you guys can see, it's kind of located where I actually have one of my special vehicle warehouses. I'm sure you guys might have a lock up here as well. There's two buildings in particular that we're gonna be looking at. The first one is this little small warehouse right here. It has a Serenta sign on there. And it also has a phone number, 
0103. And if you call that, it says this number is no longer in service. So again, maybe that indicates that no one is there, that no one is available. It also had that same Thorns uh, connection on there as well. So it seems like if it, it was a part of the same business, Thorns, whatever that is. So that little warehouse could end up working really well. And the building right next to it is, I think, almost perfect. It's called LT Weld Supply Company. And it's got the same sign on there too that we've seen on previous buildings. For lease, lower level, or lower floor, upper floor, together separately. And it had a phone number too, 696-555-0199. And if you end up calling that, you get a very similar response. Uh, we're not here, call back later. But again, this building offers a lot of things I was looking for, the uh, name that was attached to it, the lease sign. You've obviously got the big window, some of them being open. You've got this massive multi-story warehouse that I was sort of looking for. Uh, and it's connected to a lot of other buildings, but it is sort of separate on its own. It's also right next to the street, which has got great highway access. So this would be a really great spot for a nightclub warehouse location, if indeed this is the direction that Rockstar wants to go in. But anyways, that right there is all the places I'm gonna be looking at today. Again, if you're wondering why I didn't look at any traditional nightclub locations like Bahama Mamas, Tequila La, well, I've done that in other videos. Today was specifically looking at warehouses based off of what Rockstar stated on their newswire, which told us that it's gonna be expanding outside of traditional nightclub locations. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Do you think any of the locations we looked at today would be viable nightclub spots? Let me know your thoughts, opinions, more in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.